Welcome back to Real Life Reviews and in this video we're going to look at how to export a cycle workout file into Zwift and I'm using Humango or Human Go but the process is very similar for any related third-party app like Training Peaks that you can export and import into Zwift. So without any further ado, let's just go straight to my laptop. So here I am on my homepage for Humango and if you can identify the cursor, I'll move it around a little bit, there we are. Tomorrow I've got a little active recovery cycle ride. To export that, if I wanted to export that, then I simply come across to the cyclist, tap on it, it opens up its own little window format which at the top, there's lots of information if I just scroll down about the actual workout, but at the top there's an export symbol. If I just close that down a second, just beware if you tap into the main part here of that workout, it goes into uh, an edit area where you can edit various parts of it. So that's one way of getting to the export. I find if I come to calendar this way, and it's the same process, is potentially more helpful because it's quite good for setting things up ahead of time. And if I look in my calendar, there we are on Sunday the 24th, I've got a cycle workout. And if I tap on that green of the workout, I get the same sort of information. So this is the workout for that day. And again at the top is the export. This will then export the file, or it'll give me some options actually. It will export the file potentially as a ZWO file. So if I tap on it, I get options. The options I can have from Humango are Zwift, Erg and Wahoo. And if I go to Zwift, it will export it as a ZWO, a Zwift workout file. Any third party training app, I've just tapped on that, any third party training app that can export in ZWO, you can do this process with. I get a little, not really a warning, it's an advice message where to save the file and I will show you this. You save it in documents because if you have Zwift loaded, Zwift opens up a file with your unique Zwift ID in it. I'm going to click OK just to close that. Having exported, you now need to open up File Explorer and locate your downloads. And at the top of your downloads, there it is highlighted, is that six minute cadence build that I've just exported. I need to copy that. So on a PC, that's Control C or right click and select copy. Once I've copied that, I'm coming back to my file explorer and I'm clicking on documents. In documents, highlighted there, you can see there's a Zwift folder. That's created by Zwift when you load Zwift onto your computer. You don't have to do anything. Double click to open it and you will also see a workouts folder. Again, that's part of the Zwift structure. Double click on that and there you find your unique identifier. So anything in that folder there with those numbers will be yours when you log into Zwift. Open it up and control V to paste or right click paste to put your workout in there along with any others that might already be there. So the next step now is to go and open up Zwift. So I'm just gonna flick over and I'm gonna pass on all the time as Zwift loads. Now that Zwift's loaded, here's my front screen. I'm going to click on OK to move through to the home screen, as I call it. And at the top, where the clipboard symbol is, that's the workouts. I'm going to tap on workouts. And then I'm going to move to the left menus and go to custom. There I've got all the ones I've loaded in and if I come to the right here, there's the six minute cadence builds that I've just uploaded. And I tap on that just as if it's any workout in Zwift. It opens up the workout area. I can see my workout. I can look at other stuff, but I can select to do the workout and I can now select to do it anywhere I want within Zwift and pick my world. It is as simple as that. 
The only rider I would kind of put there is that if you've got the companion app as well on your phone, run that in sync with it, have it alongside, because sometimes the information on these workouts that you, you want to see is, is not quite um, as easy to see on one or the other. So having both the phone and your screen there, uh, particularly something like cadence and power, where power might be more dominant in one, but cadence in the other, uh, and it will help you along to make sure you achieve the workout. I hope you found that short video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, well, please click on the little round picture down there. Up there, I've got a video on my impressions having lived with Humango for a week. And then up there, I've got a review of the KU TF1 triathlon bike. And then down there, some aero testing on the same bike. Thank you.